this has been um, a wave, um, I suppose, which has been, you know, going on. Uh, but we have yet uh, to see the culmination of uh, the embedded finance that finance everywhere and, you know, at um, your fingertips at all the time. Yes, there is progress there, but still looks like it is, it's a journey. But, you know, what is the goal of embedded finance is to deliver a service that a client needs in the context of what he's doing yeah. or what they are doing, right? So that's the primary goal. And we are, again, there's been a lot of conversations and talk around embedded finance, but I think it is taking off now, right? So for example, if you go to buy an airline ticket today, you are able to buy travel insurance then and there, right? So, so one of the things that embedded finance is is going to help us with is also delivering value closer to the moment of demand, right? So how do you sort of reduce the time lag between the customer thinking of a particular product or a value he needs now and then the infrastructure being available for us to deliver, right? How can you deliver value closer, as close as possible to the moment of demand? You need a lot of infrastructure for that and I don't think now infrastructure is there, so you can basically buy insurance at the time that infrastructure is laid out. Yeah. Uh, but it's not uniformly available in all parts of the ecosystem yet. So seamless sharing of data. Are you getting enough data for underwriting the ask there, right? So who is the customer? What is he doing? Does he travel frequently? You, you need all this kind of data and now that's a data sharing question, right? So yes. if the basic data sharing capabilities are there in the infrastructure, then it becomes standard underwriting question, right? Are you willing to underwrite and what premium would you want to underwrite to that particular provider? And those things are coming through. You have to deliver your services in an invisible way, but the services are important. So instead of buying them discreetly, yeah. I think you're going to buy some of these products in a continuous manner. You'll buy an airline ticket and an insurance and an idea to invest something where you're traveling to, right? So that, that's not yet there, right. what you probably say, hey, like six, Business is there. They are listed on a stock exchange, and maybe a distributed exchange. Uh, and these are the prices. Of, or you can say, yeah, hey, you're flying on this airline. And then, uh, and if you have had a fantastic experience, maybe there is a suggestion to see. Yeah. Would you like this airline to be part of your portfolio? Yeah, yeah, indeed. And I mean, you rightly uh, brought out all the building blocks which are needed, which is the infrastructure, the readiness of the infrastructure to be able to provide those services. But at the same time, modular services being built on that infrastructure. Okay. And then the last, um, you know, endpoint connectivity to provide this integration between these modules, right? Because so that should be, I mean, the good thing is, I think new age infrastructure uh, has native design that thinks about integration. And in fact, data sharing is one of the key components, again, which is, uh, you know, uh, needed uh, and is also facilitated by the infrastructure which we are currently building together to build this ecosystem and evolve this ecosystem further. And I think everyone's also realizing that not all infrastructure needs to be developed by private corporations, right? So I think digital public utilities and do form a, a key component of private ecosystems. Yes. Right? So that's, that's the other, I think, takeaway from the last five to seven years is look at digital public utilities that operate at scale, you know, being Singapore, India is another great example of, Indeed. you know, a fantastic public technology stack, I would say, right? So, and that is allowing for that particular economy to thrive by allowing access to services to new incumbents that are able to potentially create a product for one, right? So we can keep talking about product for one probably for the next 50 years, because that's how much potential there is. But you need a lot of infrastructure play. All of that digital showers and peaks are going to come from technology firms or technology first firms. Uh, and they are going to form a critical backbone of every thriving and surviving ecosystem.